The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research was established by NLC Decree 293 of October 10, 1968 amended by NLC D 329 of 1969, and re-established in its present form by CSIR Act 521 on November 26, 1996. The genesis of the Council however, dates back to the Erstwhile National Research Council NRC, which was established by government in August 1958, to organize and coordinate scientific research in Ghana. In 1963, the NRC merged with the former Ghana Academy of Sciences, a statutory learned society. Following a review in 1966, the Academy was reconstituted into, essentially, its original component bodies, namely a national research organization redesignated the CSIR and a learned society, designated the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences. The distinctive features of the 1996 Act are the emphasis accorded private sector concerns, and the introduction of market principles into the Council's operations through the commercialization of research. Research. In this connection, the Council is expected to generate part of its income through the sale of its products and services, and to institute a system of contract research. <laughs> <laughs> Mandate The CSIR is mandated to perform the following functions among others to pursue the implementation of government policies on scientific research and development to advise the sector minister on scientific and technological advances likely to be of importance to national development to encourage coordinated employment of scientific research for the management, utilization and conservation of the natural resources of Ghana in the interest of development to encourage in the national interest scientific and industrial research of importance for development of agriculture, health, medicine, environment, technology and other service sectors and to this end to encourage close linkages with the productive sectors of the economy. To coordinate all aspects of scientific research in the country and to ensure that the Council, the research institutes of the Council and other organizations engaged in research in Ghana, coordinate and cooperate in their research efforts. To exercise control over the research institutes and projects of the Council and to have power after consultation with the Minister to create, reconstitute, merge or dissolve any institute, centre, unit or project of the Council. To review, monitor and periodically evaluate the work of the institutes administered by the Council in order to ensure that research being carried out by the institute directly benefits identified sectors of the economy and is within the national priorities. To institute a system of contract research to ensure that research being carried out in the Council is relevant and cost effective. To encourage and promote the commercialization of research results to undertake or collaborate in the collation, publication and dissemination of the results of research and other useful technical information, to organize and control services and facilities available to the Council and generally to manage the properties of the Council, to coordinate human resource development in institutes of the Council and to encourage the training of scientific personnel and research workers through the provision of grants and fellowships, to cooperate and liaise with international and local bodies and organizations, in particular, the universities and the private sector on matters of research, and to perform such other functions as may be determined by the minister. Topic vision using the transforming power of S&T for wealth creation Topic Mission The CSIR is to become the force for accelerated social and economic development of Ghana through examining, exploring and creating science and technology catalysts for public and private wealth creation. Topic structure and organization The Council's statutory governing council is made up of a chairman and 20 members. 
they, these include representatives of selected ministries food and agriculture, health, trade and industries, environment, education, science and technology, Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation The universities, various production and commercial associations mines, industry, commerce, engineers, Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences, National Development Planning Commission, CSIR Directors, Senior Staff Staff of CSIR, among others. The CSIR Act requires that 40% of the membership of the Council be drawn from the private sector. The Council is answerable to the Minister of Environment, Science and Technology Director General The Director General is the Chief Executive of the CSIR. Functions of the Director General include, policy issues, coordination, monitoring and evaluation, external relations including technical aid scheme and technical agreement, lobbying and advocacy and CSIR relations. Deputy Director General The Deputy Director General is responsible to the Director General for overseeing the development and execution of the research and development activities of the 13, 13 institutes of the CSIR as well as the Council's programs and projects, assists the Director General in setting the research priorities of the Council in line with government policy and acts for the Director General in his, her absence. Director of Administration The Director of Administration is responsible to the Director General for oversight per day to day administration of the head office, including authorization of administrative expenditure, remuneration management, council matters, including secretaryship to council, human resource management of the CSIR, communication of policies to institutes, and monitoring policy implementation. Director of Finance The Director of Finance is to advise the Director General on all matters relating to finance and accounting, to advise the Directors of the Institutes of the Council on financial and accounting matters, advise on the preparation and submission of annual, personnel emolument, administrative service and development estimates of the Institutes of the Council, and preparations of annual consolidated accounts and balance sheet of the Council after all the accounts of the Institutes have been ordered audited by their external auditors. Director of Commercialization The Director of Commercialization is to advise the Director General on all issues relating to commercialization, to oversee all operations of commercialization and information divisions of the Institutes CIDs in terms of strategy development and implementation, oversee marketing orientation and training programs, supervise the activities of marketing officers, public relations officers, provision of pricing and costing information, advertising and promotion, marketing research and information, corporate image building and S&T popularization. Director of Audit The Director of Audit is to establish policies for auditing activity and direct, technical and administrative functions. Develop and execute comprehensive audit programs to evaluate internal controls over all of the Institute's activities, coordinate audit planning and other internal audit activities, and liaises with Council's external auditors. Legal Officer The Legal Officer is responsible to the Director General for all legal and quasi legal matters relating to the rights and obligations of the Council, advising the Directors of the Council on all legal and quasi legal matters in respect of rights, obligations, and on matters relating to labour disputes and discipline, revising existing rules and regulations, drafting contracts, writing of legal opinion for the Director General and Directors of various institutes, advising on patent laws, handling court cases on behalf of the Council before the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, and liaising with the Council's external solicitors. <laughs> <laughs> Institutes of the Council Currently, the Council exercises control over 13, 13 institutes, namely Asterisk Council for Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR Head Office CSIR – Animal Research Institute ARI. CSIR – Building and Road Research Institute BRRI. CSIR – Crops Research Institute CRI. 
CSIR, Forestry Research Institute of Ghana FORIG, CSIR, Food Research Institute FRI, CSIR, Institute of Industrial Research IIR, CSIR, Institute for Scientific and Technological Information INSTI, CSIR, Oil Palm Research Institute OPRI, CSIR, Plant Genetic Resources Research Institute PGRRI, CSIR, Savannah Agricultural Research Institute SARI, CSIR, Soil Research Institute SHRI, CSIR, Science and Technology Policy Research Institute STEPRI, CSIR, Water Research Institute WRI. Topic: External Solicitor. One to me, Quist and Co. Topic: Collaboration. Through collaboration with international scientific organizations, CSIR has become the research hub that houses various scientific research organizations, including. Ghana Office, International Water Management Institute IWMI. Africa Regional Office The Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation EMBRAPA. International Food Policy Research Institute IFPRI, and Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa AGRA. <laughs>